Hi, I'm Marius from Inways Photography and welcome back to another episode of Digital Photography Today, the show where you will learn how to become the master of your camera. Now in this week's episode we are looking at focusing. Now it's very important that your image is sharp and in focus because no one likes a blurry picture. Now take for example you are taking an image of a person. If the camera is focusing on the background then you will have an in focus background and then a blurry person in the foreground. So then it's not about a, about a person anymore. It's about an in focus background with a blurry person. So you need to tell the camera, focus on the person I'm taking the picture of, and then the background can be blurry. And that can easily by, be done by just selecting the correct focus points. Now I'll show you how to do that on the bridge camera, the Canon PowerShot SX50. And I'll also show you on an SLR camera how to change the focus points and how that will change your photography when you are in control of where you want to focus. And this is also how you tell a story. For instance, if you take this picture, I decided I want to focus on the flowers and not the bride, but it makes a very creative image. And this is the type of pictures I think that will end up on someone's wall because it's not just the average, yeah, I'm standing with my flowers. It's this is the beautiful flowers, flowers I had on my wedding day. So in this image, I focused on the flowers and then I blurred the background. Now on this, I use an SLR camera and I also used a lens called the Nifty 50. That's the 50 millimeter F1.8. And that, that allows me to have very shallow depth of field. That's why only the flowers are in focus and the background is blurred. So I will now show you on the camera how to do this, not the specific this effect, but how to be able to select a specific focus point and focus there. Now before we do that, how you actually focus, it's really very simple. On your camera, you will have your shutter button. Now when you press this shutter button down halfway, you are telling the camera to focus. And the reason you are pressing it down halfway is you need to give the camera time to focus. You'll notice on, this, on these cameras, your point and shoots and your bridge cameras, it takes a, a second or so for the camera to focus. On your more expensive SLR cameras, it's like this. That's why I use an SLR camera on a wedding and not something like this because you are moving very quickly. Stuff is happening like, like this. You need to continuously focus and get the shots perfectly. So this, give the camera a little time to focus properly before you press the button down all the way. Now, how do you know the camera is in focus? When you press it down, you will either see in, on the back of your LCD, you will see the block that's focusing will change color or the camera will make a beeping sound. Sometimes that beep is turned off. You can turn that on on the menu system of the camera. And if you're using an SLR camera, the focus point you've chosen is displayed on the inside of your, um, your viewfinder. So you can see where the camera is focusing and it will light up to show you that is now in focus and you will also get a beeping sound. So let's have a closer look at how to focus on three specific objects and I'll show you how I change between them and selectively um, have focus on that specific area and then take a picture of it. And I'll do it on the SX50 and on the SLR camera as well. Now, if you look at the back of the LCD screen, you'll see that I've got three objects, my wedding ring and then two teddy bears on a table. Now the distance between the objects are about roughly, I'd guess, 20 to 30 centimeters um, per distance between each object. It just, it's gonna make that blur between the images just a lot more. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this button right here that we also discussed in a previous episode. I'm gonna press this button. And then you can see that white block has now turned orange. So I'm just gonna move it down. I'm gonna put it on top of that wedding ring. And I'm gonna select the button again. And now, that um, focus point is locked in. So now I can press the shutter button halfway and you can hear a, a, a beeping sound and the white has also turned green. So now I'm gonna take that image. Now when you look at the image on the screen, you'll notice that the wedding ring is sharp and in focus, but the two teddy bears in the background is not as sharp, especially the one in the, the white teddy, the be mine teddy in the background is very blurred compared to the object that we decided to keep in focus. So now I'm gonna press this button again and I'm gonna select the second teddy bear. So I want this teddy bear now to be the focus point. I want this teddy bear to be the sharpest. So I'm gonna focus halfway. It also um, selects that block right there now. So when I focus, it turns orange. 
I press the shutter button all the way down and I take the image. When you look at this image, you'll see that this, the teddy bear in the middle is now the sharpest part in this image. And you'll notice your eye immediately goes to the sharpest part or the sharpest object of the image. Now I'm going to press this button again. It allows me to move the block again. And I'm going to put it right there on the beam mine section. I'm going to focus halfway until the camera gives me uh, a beep sound also turns green now I know I can continue press the button all the way down and there we've got the final image now when you look at this you'll see that the teddy bear in the background is nice and sharp but the ring in the foreground is blurred so by just choosing the correct focus point you can immediately see the power of this as you can now draw the person's eye that's looking at your image you can draw his eye to the sharpest part of the image so now I'm going to show you the exact same steps on an SLR camera. So when we use an SLR camera, on this I've got a 50mm f1.8 lens, which has got a much better effect with shallow depth of field than with the SX50. So you're going to notice the images will look a lot different and the effect is a lot more powerful. Now in a future episode we will discuss um, depth of field and aperture and how you control this effect. And I'll show you how to properly do this on the SX50 and also on SLR. But just for now, notice the images will look a lot different. Now to change the focus points on this camera, you can see this block right here. If I focus halfway and I press this button right here, it's going to allow me to change the little points right here. So that is my focus points. So I can control where I want to focus. The same as with the power shot, but I've got more points. That I can jump around from and it's much easier to change this. So this is a Nikon body so I can at any time while I'm shooting I can change this focus point. If you're using a Canon body there's a button you press right here and when you press this the same type of view will open up either here I'm not sure I think it's almost it's here as well I'm not sure but it will open up either on the back of your LCD screen or on the inside of your viewfinder. This camera also does that when I focus halfway um, I can see the, bl the, um, the blocks light up on the inside or when I'm moving this, when I'm changing this, it shows me on the inside um, red dots that show me live while I'm looking at the image, I can choose the blocks I want. Now when I'm going to take a picture of this camera, I'm going to have to look through the viewfinder as this camera doesn't have live view like the Canon does. Okay, so now I'm going to take the exact same pictures as with the power shot. And so when I look through here, I can select the focus point for the ring and then I'm going to focus halfway. It gives me a beep. It tells me the camera's ready and I take the shot. And there you can see the ring is in focus when you look at the image and then the two teddy bears are completely blurred. And you'll notice it's a lot different compared to the bridge camera, the PowerShot SX50. So now I change my focus point to the teddy bear, the one in the middle, focus on it take the shot and now you can see the ring is blurred in the foreground the teddy bear in the background is blurred but the teddy bear in the middle is nice and sharp I'm going to focus on the teddy bear in the back and take the same shot and now you'll notice the teddy bear in the background is sharp so just look how you can change the image by focusing where you want to focus now that's all for today's episode about focusing, but in a future episode we are going to look at how to correctly focus for a static object or a moving object. For instance, either someone is standing still or a moving object like maybe action or sports photography. Now if you have a specific question about photography or camera related question, please send it to askmwest at mwest.crza and then we will try to answer it in a, in a future episode. Then, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, click the button, and then you will be informed weekly about new episodes as they come out. So that's all from me for this week, and I'll see you in next week's episode where we look at exposure compensation. Bye.